Yeah, the, one of the main implications is uh, definitely something has changed in Europe. And uh, I think we have to acknowledge um, at least two things. First thing, who caused all that? Who's the aggressor? Second thing is um, how can we support Ukraine to reach the goal that it comes uh, to an end of this war and that Ukraine becomes in a strong position that at one point in the future negotiations about you know, peace uh, can commence. And you know, we also have to think about what's after the war with regard to our uh, security architecture, if I may say so, within Europe, within NATO and beyond. Uh, I think that is super important that we start to think about that, um, develop ideas, concepts, but let me be very clear on that as well. It cannot, it's way too early. There cannot be a time and a platform now for peace talks or even negotiations with the Russians. They have to deliver first. They have to step back. They have to give free the territories in the east of Ukraine, which they have occupied, and they have to stop the war. It's them. It's the Russian, it's Vladimir Putin who has to take the first steps. Otherwise, I have, I'm afraid to have to say that this is, can only be decided on the battlefield and the West and all the supporters in the West within NATO and beyond um, should even step up to support with heavy weaponry because really um, this war should end and, uh, with a sovereign state of Ukraine not occupied by Russia.